can you give us a little background on who Officer Polly is? Uh, who I am. Nah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Officer Polly out of uh, uh, IUIC, Oklahoma. Uh, I've been in the truth since uh, February 2014, no, 2013. So I've been in the truth for about four years. Um, it just been it's been an amazing road. Uh, it kind of me being introduced to the truth, man. It was actually by my wife. Uh, she pretty much, you know, the one that kind of got me to the Sabbath. And uh, uh, crazy thing is that I didn't know that um, Deacon Abiel, not now Deacon Abiel, is who I knew back into the world. You know, I remember growing up around him you know, back in the world. Uh, so uh, me coming to the Sabbath and seeing him as the deacon, the person teaching, kind of blew my mind, man. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of blew my mind, man, real talk, man. And then how uh, we went over the scriptures and pretty much it was a solidification, man. Like the, the, the curses solidified, you know, what I knew my people went through. And that's pretty much what kind of gained me over, man, uh, I lived in a, I was in the sports back in the world, you know, doing, uh, you know, playing football. Uh, I went to college and played college ball, man, and I thought I was going to be this NFL star, man, and it didn't quite happen like that, you know. So the most I had, you know, had some other plans for me, and obviously, you know, that's coming into the truth and putting all those things away, you know. That's pretty much it, man. No. I'm a pretty simple kid. Um, you you have um, a business called Jacob and Sons, correct? Jacob and Sons Credit Accounting, yes. Oh, crazy! Uh, what was your ed education background that um, made you start that? My educational background, um, honestly, you really don't need any uh, type of uh, schooling or anything to be in. Um, into, you know, credit repair and credit restoration and stuff like that. Uh, what happened was I was getting my, I had, what was it, 2015? I think it was 2015 or, or the end of 14, I can't remember. Um, it was a guy that was always on my Facebook, and he was always talking about credit repair. And I never paid any attention until actually I looked at my credit. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of reached out to him, and uh, and he came over to the house, went over my credit report, and he was teaching me at the same time. And pretty much as he was repairing my credit, I was learning at the same time. And I was like, you know what? This is something that my people, the nation of Israel, can benefit from. You know, if I learn this, they can benefit from it. We had the position now that we got to start buying, you know, land and property and so forth to start building ourselves up. This would be a perfect way to service our people, and that's with uh, credit repair. And um, and I talked to him about it. He said, man, this would be perfect, man. You can reach out to so many people and help them out. So that pretty much is what started my, my educational uh, journey according to uh, credit repair is by me getting my credit repaired by somebody and uh, has been a mentor to me since I've been uh, in credit repair for the last three years. So pretty much that's where it came from. It's uh, from a guy that well, was restoring my credit and we pretty much I pretty much learned from there. <clears throat> been on Okay. Now, Oklahoma has a um, has a black community. Uh, were you instrumental in helping the brothers establish credit to uh, join that community? Uh, with some, I was. Uh, not all of them. Uh, pretty much, um, actually, the majority of them actually had it together. Um, they were actually getting homes uh, on themselves. You know, they did a little bit of little little bit of uh, restoration, but you know it was minor. So pretty much the brothers down here had their stuff together, pretty much. You know, believe it or not, you know they had their stuff together. So 
I didn't play a huge part. Maybe in a couple, in a couple of them, I did. I, mean, I, I helped them out mm-hmm. uh, to show them what to do. On you know, because a lot of things happen when going through um, buying a home. You know, a lot of a lot of these companies like to stall, uh, like to give you the run around. Don't really want you to close just yet, or you know, sometimes something can hit your credit and at the wrong time and you could be trying to go close and it drops your credit score, you know, and something has to happen, something has to happen or you miss the credit card payment and it can cost you to lose your home. Um, you know, actually that actually did happen to where I told uh, a brother missed the payment and a lot of things went on with that on, on, on a credit card and it kind of dropped his score. So I gave him a few uh, trade lines to consider to use, and he used them. He did exactly what I told him, and it boosted his credit score right back up. And he ended up getting the house. So, you know, it wasn't too too much involved. Pretty much they had it all put together, pretty much. I'm proud of them. Oh, great. <laughs> um, now, our people really, when it comes to – uh, education or knowledge of credit, they don't really know how it affects their life. What advice uh, can you give us on how credit affects your life on a daily basis? Okay. Um, you're absolutely correct. I Credit, you know, we grew up thinking, you know, hearing quotes like cash is king, another day, another dollar. You know, everything is dealing with cash. And when everything is dealing with cash, that when we look to our peers, we really don't see a lot of successful people, you know, that's, you know, that's dealing with cash or cash flow and so forth, unless it's drugs. You know, that's the only really time we actually see that or it's with sports or whatever the case may be. We never really see real wealth. And over the, over the little bit of time I've been in credit repair, I've been starting to find out that cash is not king in America. It's credit. A lot of these people that own um, uh, real estate, you know, commercial properties, land, they use and leverage other people's money to gain capital for themselves. And that's how they stay rich. You know, and we don't, we have never learned that. And, Credit affects us every day just by us getting a uh, a, a bill, you know, for a depo- having to have a deposit for a uh, utility bill, well, a deposit for a uh, cell phone, you know. It can affect us with getting an apartment or a rental property. I mean, it affects everything in our everyday life, and we just don't know it. It, can, it also affects us from getting jobs. You know, a lot of times we think that we're – qualify for the job and you may be but your credit stinks and they won't hire you you know it's just another way not to hire our people man so that's why i stress that we get our credit together so we can start making moves and actually teaching credit literacy to our children you know so we can always stay on top of it how crazy um now if we have um a lot of people wanted to start learning about their credit and that type of nature and build up their credit. Uh, what what steps they must do to uh, get in touch with you to, um, so they can improve their scores? As far as, like, ask for information? Yes. How, how can they reach you or contact you to improve their scores? Um, they, can call, they can contact me on Facebook uh, at Palu Israel or Jacob & Sons Credit Counseling uh, business page. Uh, Instagram uh, at Jacob and Son CC. Uh, pretty much on any social media, uh, I'm willing to. My whole purpose of of doing credit repair is not only to repair someone's credit, but also to give education to our people. So it, it is, there's no more excuses of I don't know how to do this or I don't want to stand this when it comes to credit repair because I'm giving them the knowledge to be able to do it themselves, you know. So if we work together, they shouldn't go through the same turmoil that they did before as far as ruining their credit. So I'm always up for questions. Usually I tell people to inbox me um, on Facebook 
uh, Apollo Israel, mm-hmm. or they can go to my business page at Jacob and Sons uh, CC or Jacob and Sons Credit Council. No praise. Now, well, and also, also, also by email, they can email me at credit repair at Jacob and Sons CC dot com. Oh, praise it. Now, I I think I've seen in the past where you was linking up with um, people in the community on some business adventures. How's those things going? You mean like what? Uh, I thought I had seen you uh, link up with some uh, uh, like some businessmen in the community. I thought you might have some new projects that you might be coming out with. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Um, I got a few things coming in. Uh, I have a couple of products that I'm going to come out, that's going to come out, man. It's basically going to be geared towards um, people that's wanting to do the same thing that I'm doing, you know, being a credit repair specialist or a credit consultant. And the reason why is because not only are we going to help a lot of people, but also this is a very lucrative business. You know, we have hundreds of million people in the United States, and probably three fourths of the of that need credit repair. You know, and a lot of our people need that type of help. And I want to be able, and I can't do it by myself. I want to be able to teach other people how to do what I do and to be successful. You know, so I got a, I got a lot of few ventures coming in. Um. Um. You know, just coming down the pipe. It haven't came out yet, but we're working on it. Uh, as soon as that come out, man, you be the first to know. I'm crazy. Like, Bob G is the first to know. You love helping promote Israelite business. And like I said, I'll pray. Hey. You know, this gonna this gonna change the game, man, because uh, we're gonna do things a little different, different type of marketing. How we're gonna market this uh, this product, man. And this is this is just this is going out to you know throughout the United States, you know. So it's going to be pretty much for everybody, anybody that want to do credit repair. Uh, I want to be able to assist them as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I'll praise it. You know, my wife actually does uh, credit repair herself. She's been helping me get my credit up. She, she got it up in the seven hundreds now, and uh, now other people that's in the camp are reaching out to her. And she's all been, praises, and man. She's, and she's been learning on the fly and educating herself in this, and so I, I can see it can be a lucrative business. Oh yeah, I mean a lot. Of, I mean, and I'll be I'll be honest. Um, the business that we're in, the credit repair field, uh, is pretty much frowned upon. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, I can do it myself," or a lot of banks don't want to deal with us when it comes to us having. Uh, you know, dealing with payments and so forth, so 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 forth. I mean, uh, it's a lot that go against our um, industry. But what what people don't realize is that without credit repair specialists, America will crumble. They will crumble because we're the ones that's getting these people in these homes. Uh, we're the one that's educating them. We're the one that's telling them what to do to be able to have stronger credit scores to be able to do business. And remember, not only does it affect us when it comes to buying homes, but also in business and small businesses, which runs America. Mm-hmm. So, you know, credit repair is very paramount for America. You know, and it's, you know it's especially, especially for our people living in America, you know, because we live in America. We got to be able to have, be able to, uh, deal with the big boys, and we got to have credit. We must have credit, you know, to be able to survive and do what we need to do as a nation of people to be able to rise up and do the things that we want to do. Like I said before, land, uh, properties, you know, uh, residential properties, commercial properties, you know, this is what we need to be able to even employ ourselves, build, build uh, businesses and employ our own people. You know, this all revolves around credit, and this is what the other nations have done for so long. Now it's time for us to do it. Now it's time for us to be educated and start doing this on our own and start taking over our communities, you know, so. I will praise it. <laughs> With that, hey, i like to say thank you. Uh, we appreciate you taking your time to uh, share this with us. And uh... Okay. 
All praises, man. Hey. I appreciate it. Hey, we appreciate you. Cause like I said, um, when I started watching your post and everything, it inspired me to check into my scores, and it was terrible. <laughs> so, so I started, <laughs> I started taking care of business immediately. <laughs> hey, man, on Fifth City, man, there's no such thing as bad credit because it can always be fixed. Right. You know, and, and there's, there's a lot of myths out there saying, oh, you got to wait seven to ten years and all this. That does not mean it's going to come off your credit. It does not mean that. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to, according to statutes of limitations, but it don't happen that way. Mm-hmm. And you got to have people that don't dispute it and and uh, and actually dispute it the proper way in order for it to work. And our people don't know how to do that. You know, it's it's very hard. You know, the verbiage, the laws you got to put in the in the letters. You know, to be able to get those things removed, and also hold the credit bureaus accountable and the creditors accountable for the damage they've done on our credit scores, which affect our life, our everyday life. You know, so they got to be held accountable for that. You know, we got to be compensated for that. So that's why it's so important to have a credit repair, credit repair specialist on hand. You know, just in case anything happens. You know, anything can pull up on your report. You know, anybody can have, say, for instance, you have a common name and somebody, uh, information or collection accounts come up on your name. It's called mixed files, and it drops your credit score. What are you going to do then? You know, what happens then? We got to know these type of things, you know, so we can do better and be, be able to be better prepared you know, when it comes to our credit, you know, we got to hold tight our credit so we can do what we need to do to prosper in this, in this wicked nation. Right. You know, when I was coming up, there's a couple of things black people always said they needed, you know, a bell's bun, a good lawyer. <laughs> but as you start improving yourself and uh, start doing grown men things, you need, I, I see that you need a credit uh, repair specialist more than anything. Yeah, man. Yeah. Even if you got good credit and you want to boost it up or you want to make it stronger, you need somebody to be there to tell you exactly what to do. Right. You know, it's people that I deal with that don't have any any debt, you know, any uh, negative items on their report. But they're, you know, but they got credit cards, but their credit is like at a 600, like 630, right? Right. And they don't know what to do. They're like, dang, I got credit cards. I'm paying on every month. You know, why my credit score ain't going up? Can you help me? And I look at it, and I'm like, okay, you need to pay it off. You, you, you're you hurting yourself. You're, you know, your limit, your utilization is too high. You know, you you spending too much money on your credit card. Bring it down. Pay it down. And your credit score will go up. You know, even with that, people need some type of guidance to... You know, no, for everything that happens with their credit, you know. So, and like I say, hey, what you provide, what you providing for Israel, is a service desperately needed. And then, like I say, we like to appreciate you, and want to, and that's why we uh, wanted to recognize you for the work that you're doing. So, I like to say, and I appreciate it, man. I, I really appreciate it, man. It's a lot more work to do. I have a lot more to learn, a lot more to learn, you know. So, uh. I'm, I'm willing to, you know, I will let you know when things come out and I can, uh, you know, what Tyler is coming out, man. So, you know, we can do another interview later on if you want to. It's all up to what you want to do. I'll pray. Matter of fact, I might, you know, we might just reach out to you on a monthly basis, you know, to just like give tips and things like that that might help our people out. Hey, that's cool. That, that'd be fine, man. We could do like a little segment, you know, you know, like little uh, little key points. I'll praise that'd be good. I'll praise this. And, you know, cause that's, that's what the bonus is all about, doing things that can help uplift our people, uh, to turn them on to uh, services that Israelites are offering, and, uh, you know, so we can improve our nation. Because it's about nation building, and we got to start coming together right. and, and doing that amongst each other. Right. Yeah, man. Let's that, make it happen. Yes, sir. Well, hey, I definitely will be reaching back out to you. 
All praise, man. I appreciate you, man, for reaching out to me, man. Shalom, most high Christ bless. Shalom, most high Christ bless.